Hi, this is Bob Kay from Biker Pros, and I'm here with Bill Davidson today. Um, we're in Daytona Beach for 2012 Bike Week. Um, we're at the Harley Event Center here, and uh, we have a ride-in show going on that's uh, sponsored in uh, with American Iron Magazine. Um, we have over 120 bikes today. It's a great turnout. It's beautiful weather. So anything you notice about the bike show, Bill? Well, it's always neat to see some beautiful Harley Davidsons all come together for one great event, and it sure is happening here today. The antiques, the customs, the touring bikes, the soft tails, the dinas, the sportsters, they're all here, and people are having a great time. You know, I had a, a little chance, just did an interview with your father, we were talking about, you know, growing up as a third generation Harley rider. Well, you're a fourth generation Harley rider, so uh, tell us a little bit about what that was like, growing up with um, bikes all around you and, and t attending these kind of events, probably as your vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it truly was a vacation. and. You know, I, I've been very fortunate. I, this is something I truly love, and uh, it's been a part of my life since day one. And I was able to fortunately join the company in 1984, and I have l loved every second of it. It's great to come to events like this where we can mingle with our customers and shake hands and sign a few autographs, take a lot of photos. It's, it's really, we love it. And uh, we love riding as well. So. It's great to be down here, although Milwaukee right now is uh, 70 degrees today, so we could be riding back home, but typically it's about 30, and uh, our bikes are put away, so it's always fun to come down to Daytona. You know, um, you talk a little bit about the diversity of all the different types of uh, bikes we have here today, and there's, all, of course, all different kind of riders, and Harley has been supportive of that individualism and customization for years. So um, is there any comments you have on what you've seen in terms of the riders and enthusiasts here today? Well, you know what's really neat about our brand is you have the capability as an individual to customize your ride the way you want to make it. So you really individualize your motorcycle, make it one of a kind. and through the products we offer, our motorcycles, our accessories, and some creativity, you can come up with some beautiful, we call them rolling sculpture. Um, they truly are. I mean, everybody talks about the motorcycles, the custom motorcycles being works of art. And, and you know, Harley has just the fantastic history. Um, they can really teach a lot of companies about how important the preservation of your history is. And, and even though um, we've gone through the 100th anniversary, it's still a very young industry, the motorcycle industry, compared to um, a lot of industries out there. But um, we now have a great museum in Milwaukee, and I understand that you're involved with that. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on at the museum? Well, I'm very proud and honored to be in charge of our museum. I work with a wonderful team back in Milwaukee that helps orchestrate all the events and really make sure it's running in top class. And it, it truly is a top class, world class facility. Um, it's the only Harley Davidson Museum in the world um, with a motorcycle from every single year that we've been in business. We have one of the original 1903s. Um, and it goes all the way through the production until our current model year 2012. So it, it is the biggest collection in the world of unrestored Harley Davidsons. And the reason most of them are unrestored is the, the process in which the founders started back in the early 1900s was to take a new motorcycle off the assembly line and just put it on the side. Yeah. And what's, what's so intriguing about that is their foresight to see that one day these may be of value. And there were no plans back then to have a museum. In fact, our museum we opened up in July of 2008 in connection with the 105th anniversary. So it was just this great foresight and it's such a thrill to finally take this treasure, this collection of these unbelievable Harley Davidsons and put them on display for the public. You know, uh, Milwaukee truly is the homeland for any Harley enthusiast. Um, in the middle of the heart of America, the heartland, I call it. And um, we have this Milwaukee rally that's going on. I know it's still in young stages and everything, and it's kind of a lot of that's built around the museum. 
Um, you know, I, I do work with AMD World Championship and the Ultimate Builder, and we've been really um, appreciative of Harley Davidson, your graciousness and your help with supporting us um, as we kind of expose more people to the world of custom bikes. And this year, um, we're joining forces to have a show at the museum. We're going to have a, a two-day AMD affiliate championship along with a traditional museum show. Um, so we're real excited about that. Can you give us a, a little background on um, what Harley's thinking and um, in the future of what's going to go on at the Milwaukee Rally? Well, I'll tell you, the, the custom bike show at the museum, has it's, it's fairly young. We've, we've done it for three years, and it has such great opportunity to become the custom bike show around the world. And we started talking about this with some of my team members, and I, I really did say, hey, Harley-Davidson is known for custom motorcycles around the world. We should have the best custom motorcycle show in the world at the Harley-Davidson Museum. So we went to the experts, AMD, and um, it's been a great partnership, and I think the expertise that both Harley-Davidson and AMD brings to the picture we are going to have a first class custom bike show Labor Day weekend in conjunction with the Milwaukee Rally. I cannot wait. I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous. Well, you know, I, and I know you're aware of it, but being right there in Milwaukee, you're right in the center of all the custom bike building activity. You do get people that go off to the West Coast or come to Florida for Daytona, and of course there's Sturgis and everything, but there's a lot of traveling going on. A lot of some of the top builders in the country live in that area, so I'm looking forward to the kind of turnout we're going to have at the museum. Now, um, is there going to be some other activities going on um, during this Milwaukee rally this year in Labor Day? Well, our, our dealers from the Milwaukee area have events at their dealerships. There's four local uh, Milwaukee area dealers, Harley-Davidson dealers. We have our uh, facilities there, our engine plant, certainly our headquarters, Juno Avenue. Uh, the museum, in addition to the bike show, you know, obviously the museum will be open. you got to come and see the, the collection. That's phenomenal as well. Um, so there's going to be happenings all over the city and, and one thing about Milwaukee is they love Harley-Davidson and when the city officials and the city planners and the local businesses hear that there's Harley-Davidson riders coming to Milwaukee, they really open up their arms and do quite a bit for the riders and they love it. Well, you know, that really is exciting. Um, over the years we've all seen the changes and the perception and the acceptance of the motorcycle riders. and. Um, you know, we talked a little bit how uh, things have changed from the early riders in the teens and the 20s and 30s who were actually very conservative, only uniform type uh, apparel that they wore all the time until uh, after World War II when they became a little more rebellious after the war and kind of wanted to strip down their bikes and get out and ride a little bit and now, as like you already said, we get to see such a great diversity, but we've gone through some times where um, you know, getting into the areas has been a little bit of a challenge and now Daytona is working with us, Sturgis is happy to see the bikers, it's, it's just a great group of people, especially the Harley enthusiasts, and um, to be back in Milwaukee I think it's going to be a fantastic time. So uh, back to Daytona now, um, you know, we've been here for a few days, the weather is beautiful. Um, what other things do we have going on here at, besides the uh, bike show today? Well, the company really, if you will, rolls out the red carpet. Um, it's great to be with all of our fans, our enthusiasts, our customers from around the world. And so we bring all of our displays of our parts and accessories, the motorcycles, our CBO motorcycles, our clothing. Uh, we also have a fleet of motorcycles out at the Speedway, the famous Speedway where the 200 mile race takes place and we give demo rides during the course of the day and um, that's it's fun to go out there to see the number of people that are taking the Harleys out for a test ride it's fantastic so there's a lot going on our dealer here uh, the Ross Myers they've been really helpful and they've got a, a big happening out at Destination Daytona as well as their uh, dealership here across the street from our exhibits so it's just a lot of happenings. I talked to a customer about an hour ago when I was having lunch and he said, you know Bill, this is my first time here and he said, there's so much going on, I just want to take it all in, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to. <laughs> 
Oh, I understand that challenge, you know. It's really great, this passion that Harley-Davidson enthusiasts have um, is certainly fueled by Harley-Davidson. It's no accident of Harley's success. Um, we appreciate the preservation of the history, the continued support, and you taking the time out to talk with us today. Thank you very much, Bill. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure, and we appreciate everybody's support. That's what makes us great brand, and we're going to keep it going for a long, long time to come.